A historic chapter has just begun in Uganda. The nation has officially launched the Made in Uganda Grand Trans Africa Electric Expedition, a bold 30 day electric journey covering more than 13,000 kilometers across six African countries. The first ever expedition of its kind was flagged off in Kampala by the Minister of Works and Transport, General Edward Katumba Wamana, together with the Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Dr. Monica Museniro. At the center of this moment, a made in Uganda innovation, the Kayola electric bus crafted by Kira Motors Corporation. This is no ordinary bus. Kira Motors described the Kayola e-coach 13M model 2025 as premium intercity high flow electric coach built for a new age of mobility with an incredible 500 kilometer range on a single charge the Kayola is expected to prove that african engineering can stand tall on the world stage over the next 30 days the expedition will wind through tanzania zambia Botswana and Eswatin before finally touching down in Cape Town, South Africa. Each stopover will showcase Uganda's growing science, technology and innovation sector, demonstrating what is possible when a nation invests in homegrown solutions. Speaking at the launch, General Katumba Wamara declared, as we flag of this historic expedition, we are sending a message to the world. Uganda believes in its people, its technology, and Africa's capacity to shape a sustainable future. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look on the horizon there, what do you see? You, very soon we shall not be able to see our blue sky because of the pollution. You can see. All that is nothing but it's pollution from the millions of border borders in this country because of lack of mass transport. So if we can get e-buses onto the roads, and we, I, 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 one time I went to Beijing about 20 years ago, and in Beijing you could not see the blue sky. It was pollution. For them, they were putting on masks before COVID came. Recently, I went back, and Beijing now is clear sky. Very clear. What have they done? One of the things they've done is to ensure that 99% of their vehicles in Beijing are electric. There is no taxi which drives in Beijing which uses petrol. No vehicle which fumes on the streets of Beijing. And I think that's where we need to go. If we don't do that, then we are going to lose the beauty of this country through this massive pollution which we see. This happens every day. Every day this is how our sky looks like. And I don't think it's amaz amusing. And with that, the Kayola electric bus began its ambitious journey carrying not just passengers but Uganda's pride, innovation and a powerful vision for a greener Africa. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment for more updates on this historic expedition. Story compiled by Nebat Lugadia, Uganda Radio Network, Kampala.